In this video, I'll show you how to animate text in Premiere Pro. Hi everyone, this is The Web Guru. I do tutorials on video, photography, and audio to make you a better editor. Be sure to leave a comment and subscribe and sign up for notifications. So here inside Premiere Pro, I've already put together a simple video and I have some text, I have an opening title, and then I have some other text, and right now it's all static. So I want to make it a little bit more interesting by adding some movement and motion to it. And here's a little trick. You can actually use transitions to create simple animations with your text. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna switch over to the Effects workspace by clicking on the Effects button. Um, if you don't see this, you can go up to Window, Workspaces, Effects, and that should bring up the Effects panel on the right-hand side. Uh, I'm gonna click on the word Effects to make it bigger, and then I'm also gonna make the Effects panel bigger too. Now the video transitions are inside of the video transitions folder, so I'm going to expand that folder. And then inside of the dissolve folder is the default transition, which is the cross dissolve. But that one really just fades text in and out, and I'm looking for some movement and motion. So inside of the slide folder, there's a transition called the push. And let me show you what this one does. So I'm gonna drag and then drop it to the very beginning of this clip here. Uh, and now you can see that the text actually moves onto the screen. So that's a simple little effect and it was very quick and easy. And there are also other transitions that create interesting effects. So we have another one called the wipe. If you uh, open the wipe folder and then here with the wipe, I'm gonna drag this over top of the push and it will actually replace it and now you can see another little effect and it almost looks like the a text is being revealed onto the screen. Another interesting one is called the cross zoom. It's inside of the zoom folder and I'm going to drag this on top of the wipe transition and now it'll become a cross zoom and it almost looks like the text is zooming onto the screen. So these are all interesting effects and there's actually many other transitions and I have created a two minute video where you can preview all of the transitions in Premiere Pro. Not all of them are gonna work in this case, but you can experiment and try them out. I'll show you one more. There's one inside of the wipe folder called Barn Doors. So if I add this to the beginning of the clip, now you can see that it is almost like a center reveal. And then at the end of the clip, I'm just going to add a simple cross dissolve. And now the text will simply fade off the screen. Now let me show you how we can apply this to another piece of text here. I would like this text to move onto the screen and then off the screen. And I can actually do this with the push transition. So I'm going to find the push transition and then I'm gonna drag it to the beginning of the clip, and then I'm also gonna drag it to the end of the clip, and now you can see that it comes onto the screen, and then it goes off the screen. Now the only problem is, is that it's going off to the right, and I want it to go to the left. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select the transition, and then we need to go to another panel called the Effect Controls panel. If you can't find it, go to Window, and then effect controls, and then it'll appear. And what we're looking for are these arrows here. Now, if you want the text or the transition to move to the left, then you have to click on the arrow that points to the left, and that would be this one right here. It's a little bit small, but I'm gonna click on it, and now when I play the transition, it goes in the correct direction. So now it comes onto the screen and then it disappears off the screen. So transitions can create quick, simple animations. 
Now I want to show you a more sophisticated, more professional way to create animations, and these are called keyframes. Now I'm going to go back to the first transition here, and I want to actually create some smoother movement because when I use the push, so I'm going to bring the push back here. When I use the push transition, it is actually very choppy and mechanical and the movement is not smooth and natural. I want it to be smoother and more professional looking. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the transition simply by selecting it and then hitting delete on my keyboard. I'm going to select the clip and then we're going to go up to the effect controls panel and then go down to the motion category. Uh, and we're looking for the position property. If you don't see it, there is a triangle next to the word motion, which should reveal the position property. And what we're going to do is I'm going to move this playhead to the beginning of the clip and we are going to animate using keyframes. And it all begins with this little button, toggle animation and it's going to create a keyframe. A keyframe looks like a little diamond. So that's our first keyframe. And I actually want the text to be off screen. So I'm going to take this value here and I'm going to click and drag to reduce the value until the text is completely off the screen. You can see it right here. It's just a little bit off screen. That's exactly what I want. And then I'm going to go a little bit later in time. So I'm going to manually drag the playhead right here. And then I am going to uh, click on the reset button. That's like this little circular arrow. So when I click on the reset button, it's going to bring it back to its original value and create another keyframe. And now actually what I've done is I've created a smooth animation between the two keyframes. Now if I wanted to go slower, I can move the keyframes further apart. So I like that. And right now the animation is actually still kind of choppy and mechanical. So let me show you a trick. If you come over here next to the word position, there's a little triangle and this is going to reveal the velocity graph. And you can see how there are very sudden changes in the velocity and it's not very smooth. So I'm going to go to the second keyframe. I'm going to right click, then choose temporal interpolation and it's going to be ease in. Now you can see the velocity graph becomes much smoother and you, you might be able to notice a difference already. So it slows down toward the end, which is much smoother. And if I want it to become even smoother, I'm going to go down to this little handle. This is a little bit tricky. You have to grab the little circular handle and then drag it to the left. And now you can see it creates a much smoother ramp. And now when I play this animation, it's even smoother than it was before. And so I like that. And this is one of the things that keyframes can do for you. It can make your animations much smoother. So I'll show that to you one more time. We're going to go to the very end. Now this time I want the text to appear off screen down below and then smoothly move onto the screen like this. So I'm going to select the text and then up in the effect controls panel, I'm going to move to the very beginning of the clip next to the word position. You need to click on the little toggle animation button that will create your first keyframe. Now that's the starting position of the text and I want it to be off screen. So I'm going to adjust these values. This time I'm going to change the second value so that the text just goes off screen. Then I'm going to go a little bit later in time by dragging the playhead and then I'm going to reset the value back to its original and now it's going to move onto the screen like that. Now if I want it to be faster, I'll move the keyframes a little bit closer together. And then if I want it to be smoother, I click on this little triangle so that I can see the velocity graph. 
I need to go to the second keyframe, right click, temporal interpolation, ease in, and then if I want it to be even smoother, so right now it's already smoother than it was before. If I want it to be even smoother, I need to grab the little handle. It's hard to see right now, so I'm going to zoom in on this timeline here, so that way I can see the circular handle. Then I'm gonna drag that a little bit, so now I have an even smoother ramp that looks even more professional. So I hope that was helpful to you. You can use transitions to create simple animations, and then you can use keyframes to create smoother, more professional animations. So I hope that was helpful to you. Uh, please leave a comment. Let me know if this works for you and what type of videos you'd like me to produce in the future. And of course, don't forget to subscribe. Okay, bye.